Hey everyone, Achika here, and it's Wednesday, so that means it's time for another DCUO base showcase here on the channel, and today I got another very special one lined up for you guys. As you can see, we're over on the EU side, and it has been a minute since we've checked in with Deadshock. Deadshock has had a couple bases featured here on the channel, I will link one of them up above, but today we're going to check out their Journey to the Center of the Earth-inspired base called Lost World. I've been wanting to feature this base for a long time, I'm super stoked to finally show you guys. So without further ado, let's check out Deadshock's base titled Lost World. Oh man, I got a sneak peek of this a long time ago. I'm curious to see if Dead Shack has put in up any new furniture since I visited. But uh, oh, I think I missed their name somewhere here. Luckily, my EU teleporter is not. <laughs> there it is. Lost World. All right. Let's go take a look. Ooh, excited. Ooh, look at this. We have a cave theme. And it seems like we are... Oh, we're like in a mine shaft area. That's right. Of course. I mean, we're, we're digging to the, the center of the earth here. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Look how detailed all of this is. Oh, all the cobwebs and the bats and the fungus. All the mining equipment. Oh, this is this is fantastic. The debris everywhere. Ugh. This is why I love like the standard base themes, because you can get so detailed with stuff like this. Like all these scattered brick debris and 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 the little like the cords and all the cobwebs and the barrels. Ugh, it's so great. Look at this. Some equipment. Oh, the dynamite in the cart. Okay, that's that's super cool. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. More crystals being mined out here, so it looks like we've struck some kind. I mean, if we're getting crystals like that, it seems like, you know, that's a good find, one would assume. Some underground water. Oh, it looks like we've accidentally dug a little too... A little too... <laughs> Close to the top here. That's probably a cave in risk, but you know, we're, you know, we're being safe here. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, some more dynamite here. And uh, it looks like uh, this is as far as we've gotten so far. However, yes. Oh my gosh. All right, well, we got to be safe about this. All right, run. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it so much. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh, this is fantastic. So we're entering into a crystal cavern full of mushrooms, too. Phosphorescent mushrooms. Oh, this is great. Just an iridescent dreamscape here. Look at the fossil encrusted in the crystals. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. This is this is fantastic. Oh. Dead shock is just oh, always goes above and beyond. This is incredible. Look at the tail. And the cosmic ceiling above too. Oh yes, all the all the fungus this is so great. And it looks like we've hit a molten patch here in our journey. <gasps> Look at this, guys. Okay, this is incredible. It's you know what this reminds me of? Like um in Elden Ring, like when you start taking like the grand elevators down, you think you're gonna like be sent to like some hellish landscape or uh like something like Blight Town, like something pretty horrible like from dark soul standards usually when you go underground it's like this deep you know chasm like tomb of the giants but in elden ring when you go down there are these beautiful constellations and it's one of the most uh like it's so beautiful like it's it's really cool so this this reminds me of that you go down to the, the you know the infernal depths but there's still like these beautiful constellations being like shown up above oh it's so great Look at this. Look at all the lava. We have some areas that have been mined out and have like the windows so you can see out into the 
the actual uh, lost world there, rather than in this catacomb of crystals and flora. Oh, this is this is great. Oh man. Ooh, I hear I hear a friend somewhere. Maybe that's further on in the base. I also heard some flies too, so that should be fun to find. <laughs> this. I just want to make sure I'm not missing something. Oh, this is great. Okay, so let's head upstairs then. It seems we have a more vernal aspect. Woo! Look at this! Oh, uh-oh. It seems like our minor friends probably have been off a, you know, a bit more than they can chew, it seems like. I mean, I would assume, given how prehistoric a lot of this is. Any man-made things are probably from excavations past. Oh, look at the river. It looks like we have like an icy ceiling here that's melting too into this river. Oh, and it's flowing everywhere. And this is where the waterfalls come from. Oh, we're going to have to look up when we go back downstairs. Oh, Look at this! Oh man, it also looks like we have uh, some more of our uh, explorers. Somebody here did not like that they were exploring me, thanks. Um, hopefully we won't see whoever decided to display this, but they did so quite proudly. <laughs> So I guess we should be uh, on our guard a little bit. I love the root systems reaching in too. Oh, this is so great. Oh, this is this is a fabulous base. Oh my gosh, look at this! Oh, the crystals above, and there we see the waterfalls dripping down. <gasps> More fossils encrusted in the rock, yes! I love it. That's what I was trying to do with uh, Illyria's base. It was one of the first bases I ever featured on the channel with the uh, Mosasaurus and the rocks, I think. It was uh, Vernal, uh, Vernal Hollows, I think. I'll link it if you guys want to check it out. Oh, but look, and then I see this waterfall too. Oh my gosh, it's so great. Oh, such great attention to detail. This is really something. Okay. Let's head downstairs here to where we get some more ethereal crystals to the ceiling. Some more very invasive root structures reaching up. Oh, and a crystal cavern that's also melting out. It's some beautiful crystal clear waters. Oh, this is awesome. Look at all the plant life. Oh, there's the T-Rex. Okay, we should we shouldn't move. We gotta be very still here. We're just gonna slowly shuffle this way. <laughs> I think maybe we have the benefits of having a time spell about to where uh, I don't think I don't think it's gonna notice us. <laughs> this is great. So we see the tail of the T Rex here as well as another view into that crystal cavern with more water spilling out into this lush blue pond. Oh, it seems our T-Rex friend has been quite busy. <laughs> Hopefully we won't be added to that, uh, that bone pile there. I love the vine reaching out. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Well, hello there, my plant friend. Oh, okay. Sorry, personal space. I will, I will. I will grant you that, given that very pronounced maw of gnashing teeth that you have there. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, look at this creature! Oh, that is awesome! The eyes! Oh man, that's fantastic. It almost looks like a creature from Ico, you know, the shadow monsters with the white eyes. Oh! so cool. Oh, I love it. Some bats exiting from this cavernous landscape. 
It's almost like we're at the nexus of all these different caverns that are converging here to this very lush, wild area full of very dangerous creatures. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Honestly, I'm kind of happy to see the mammoth. They seem, uh, unless they're stampeding, I think we're, we're, we might be safe with them, potentially. Well, hello, my forest friend. How are you doing there? Oh, it seems a lot better than uh, some of our other, uh, some past adventurers, one would think. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh my gosh, look. Oh man. This is great. Oh, we have a saber tooth tiger stalking over there. Oh, look at that. It's got its own cavern with its own. Oh man. Looks like you've been eating well too, my friend. <laughs> as well as uh, taking down things much larger of your size, if that's the skull capabilities. <laughs> This is so great. Dead shock. This is awesome. Look at the water. Oh. There's our plant friend from earlier. All right, so it looks like we have a beehive here. And it also looks like we have an entrance to another cavern. Oh, we have a giant bee, too. Oh, my gosh. I love it. A giant hive. Of course, everything in prehistoric times were giant. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this, Deadshock, this is incredible. I love this base. You really have a knack for creating scenes. Like, this is, this is just, this is fantastic. And I think, I'm pretty sure that is the end of Lost World. So thank you so much, Deadshock, for your incredible base. Thank you for waiting so long, too, for this tour. I know, uh... You, you asked for this one a while ago, so I it was in the wings for a bit, so I do apologize. But thank you again so much for inviting me over. This this really is incredible, so thank you so much. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, no new announcements other than the Base Off announcements will be up on Friday, uh, following with two weeks of the winners, as well, both the first, second, and third place, and the wild card winner. And then tours will begin again uh, normally, as expected. Uh, so that should be that i do believe so yeah so again thank you so much to dead shock for their absolutely astounding base thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day and i will catch you in the next one take care everybody